Hey you guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the awesome new Google Pixel 7 Pro and the Google Pixel Watch LTE version. Now keep in mind, these are a gift from Google that they send me so I can share it with you guys in my channel, my thoughts about these devices. And one thing that I realized when I all started over checking these boxes is that they were already opened. So you see that? They were already opened. And I was like, wait a second, where the hell are the watches? Because right here, when I opened this up, like you see that, this was already opened. I'm like, where the hell is the watch? Oh no. And right here, but let's go show you guys what you're supposed to get here besides the watch, right? Uh, you get the charging cable, right? You get the charging cable, which is hmm, kind of a little bit hard to take out. There you go. You got the charging cable, which is going to charge wirelessly your watch right here. See that? It has a very cool logo right there. And this right here. Boom, boom. It has that, right? You got instruction manuals right there. Um, this right here is, of course, the one that they gave me is the polished silver stainless steel with shock active band. And this right here, when I open it up, I'm like, where the hell is the phone? But you'll find out very soon. So you got instruction manuals. You got just a charging cable and just a USB-C to USB-A adapter for your PC. And that is it. So where is, where's the phone? And where's the watch? Right here, they sent me another separate box that says Google Pixel Collection. Plain black, <coughs> it's all plain black. You know, just a little barcode here on the side. Uh, but it's all plain black. And when you open it up, it has a very cool mirror right there. Look at that, a very cool mirror. It says, Hashtag Team Pixel. And right here, you got a little mantle, which are very cool design logos there. It's like a little boxes, 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 boxes. And with the Google logo, very cool. And there it is. Here is the watch. And here is the smartphone. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and show you guys the smartphone. The smartphone, I think, what the hell? Is it sticked to the... Okay. What the hell? What the hell is holding it? Holy crap. <laughs> what the hell is holding this? Wait a second. I don't want to break something here. Okay, there you go. This is the pro version. Look at that. Glass in the back front. Glass in the back. And everything else is aluminum beautiful 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 looking beautiful looking right there you got the two cameras and the other camera the 48 megapixel camera which also gives you telephoto up to 30x zoom you got the flash right there i love how it looks the white with the chrome right there oh my god it just just makes it looks really 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 beautiful no sim card goes right there um, here goes the speakers, the charging port. Uh, over here, you got the volume rocker. You got the power button right there. Let's go and press the power button and let it turn on. Looks nice. 6.7 inch screen. A little bit smaller than last year's. And over here, we got the watch, which right now I'm wearing the Galaxy Watch 5. And this is the watch, which looks awesome. Nice looking pebble looking, right? Circle this is like this i believe there's another belt that actually came with it but look at that looks very nice nice blue q let's see how it actually feels i gotta put it on see how it feels oh yes oh yes so this goes like this right goes like that and uh, I believe that goes locked like that and this goes like that okay there you go 
that's how it actually looks let's go and turn it on press and hold i don't know if this is how you turn it on yes it is this is how you turn it on now i put it a little bit too tight it's a little bit too tight on me uh, but there it is this is how it actually looks i believe there is holy crap i don't know if there is but i believe there is an extra band so it can make it like small i'll have to check that out here later on but this is how we got i got this these devices so i decided to go ahead and share with you guys the unboxing just like that i love how the little g logo looks oh yeah look at that nice nice i love how it turned into color you got the four colors there really cool wow look at that so this watch is supposed to be a, like around 40 millimeters 1.2 inches and uh, wow looks great so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go and set up these both devices and come back with the second half of the video that way you guys can see both devices turned on and maybe have the phone set up like I like it, have the watch set up like I like it before I finish the video. So like you see there, now it's actually ready to pair with my smartphone, which obviously is gonna be the Pixel 7 Pro. God damn, looks gorgeous. Looks nice and beautiful. So we'll be back with the second half of the video okay guys so here we are back again with the second half of the video i already finished setting up the phone i went to sleep i woke up i started using the phone again a, a little bit more and wow this is just gorgeous i gotta say i i love the design even though it's basically the same design as the old one this is the the six right it's a little bit a lot of smudges uh, which I really like the design of the 6, but they upped it up another level here with this right here, the camera section, which looks chrome. Uh, the whole body, of course, is glass. Oh, man, really cool. Um, and size, size compared to the other one, so, um, this is 6.7, 6.8. They actually are like almost the same size. Maybe this one is a little bit more wider, which I think that's the reason why it's actually, I don't know. Maybe a little bit smaller, but it, it, it feels more good. It feels smooth. I love the, you know, the the navigation feels very nice and smooth. Of course, just like the other one, this has the Google Tensor G2. And of course, in the inside, it has the 128 gigabytes, but you could get it up to 512. And it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. So when it comes to playing video games, it should be, you should have a good experience playing video games on this phone. I wouldn't doubt about that. And one cool thing about this is, is also it has a huge battery as well. The battery here is actually a 5,000 milliamp per hour battery. So you should be able to get more than 24 hours of battery life. Um, also what I really liked about here is that not only does the phone unlocks the, uh, fingerprint and fingerprint also feels way faster and way better than the six pro way faster. It feels, you can actually feel the improvement, but this also uses face to unlock the phone as well. Like for example, if I'm here and I, and I, you know, and I, move the phone towards me like you see here it actually unlocks the phone and I, it's already ready to unlock i don't have to use my fingerprint and it's it works so far very flawlessly very very fast like right now if i point this to my to my face boom you can see the little ring right there and boom unlock and that's it you don't have to actually use the fingerprint which is very cool i haven't used it yet for applications and all that but you know it should work nice same thing goes with the camera you could double tap here and open the camera what i like now is it has not only does it have 5.5 1 2x has 5x right here and of course you can also keep on zooming in which it, it may it goes all the way up to 30x that's insane 30x and of course i'm taking a couple pictures here you know here in my apartment, my house. 
Very good. Very good detail. Like I said, I haven't been able to use this phone too much, but I can definitely tell you right now, I'm going to be using this phone for a while now. And of course, I'll give a better review of this phone later on, maybe a month from now. But so far, I am liking what I see and how it actually feels in my hands. And I can't wait to actually get a case. I didn't get a case with this package. Um, also, the watch, the Pixel watch, very nice. I like the pebble look, you know, it looks like a very nice pebble with just belts uh, attached to it. One thing that I wish is that it was a little bit bigger. Right now, this is like 40 millimeters. Um, the Galaxy Watch 5, which I've been using is 44 millimeters, uh, 1.2 inches. Um, and uh, so far, I wish it was a little bit bigger. You know, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it is really cool. Very nice response. Um, and you know, these are the tiles, very, very, very damn smooth, you know, a lot of customization there. Um, also when you type it here, you can go through the apps, right? You go through the apps right there. We tap over here. This is like a little button right there with a little microphone as well. You can see the recent apps, um, and click right here. You can actually see the weather. You can, the cool thing is that with the crown, you can actually, instead of touching the screen, you can actually move around with the crown up and down, go through the notification. Even here, if I want to see my, my, my little control panel, I can actually open that like that, go like that. So it looks pretty cool. I like it so far. Uh, one thing about this, this thing that I didn't like is that when you're actually setting the watch up, it forces you to actually register to a professional or to a premium Fitbit account. It actually forces you to do it. If not, you won't it won't let you finish the setup of the of the watch without without um, opting into a premium, which um, right now you actually get six months free. You get six months free of a prime a year. I believe it's like 80 bucks a year or ten dollars a month. But I don't see myself paying a monthly payment for Fitbit. You know, unless I go hardcore doing exercising, but I don't see myself paying monthly payments. Once you get to the five or six months, of course, you will be able to cancel it if you don't want to continue using the premium features. But so far, I've been liking it. it looks good. It looks great. Very, very comfortable. The belt as well is also very, very comfortable. This watch actually goes for $349. Or 399 this is the LTE version 399 of course battery life is 294 milliamp hour battery and uses the Qi charging which is the wireless charging it's water resistance IP68 and it has incredibly 32 gigabytes of internal storage that's insane 32 gigabytes of internal storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM that's pretty cool that's most likely why I think it actually feels so damn smooth because it has so much storage in the inside and the gig two gigabytes of ram for a watch that's a lot that's actually pretty good damn good so and honestly i don't think the price is that much as well you know three three forty nine for a google watch which has awesome fitness features with fitbit i think it's pretty cool and of course the belts are kind of weird the way they put there, they're, they don't use your conventional belts, but you will be able to get these belts on Amazon and so on and so on. But yeah, guys, um, that's it for my video. Like I said, this is not a review of these devices. I just wanted to share a um, hands-on look and unboxing of these devices because I received them. So I can, you know, try them out and make a video for you guys and share my opinions about this watch, uh, phone and watch so far. So far, I'm upset. First impressions, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed with build quality, how awesome it looks. The design, I don't think they had to change the design at all. I don't know why people complain about them keeping the similar design when Apple been using the same design for over years, <laughs> right? And, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. They just improved it. When you think about it, they just improved it. It looks amazing. It looks just amazing, feels amazing in my hands glass aluminium all over the oh it just feels very 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 premium and from using it so damn little i can notice the improvements that they've done 
over the 6 Pro. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about these devices. I'll leave links in my descriptions for these devices as well. And same thing for cases if you're interested in getting cases for these devices. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.